and we posted our first video and that video got to in that moment it was two million views <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Today, we are with some very uh, skillful and talented uh, players. We have got Jose and Jose from Brother Up Skills. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, and you? Yeah, good. Thank you very much for joining us today. So I, I guess the best place to start, first of all, is I'll throw it over to you and you can introduce yourselves. Tell us where you're from, how old you are and what it is that uh, what you do. Okay, so we are 17 years old. We just turned 17. We're from Monterey, Mexico. And Mexico! Mexico. <laughs> and, well, yeah, about our journey. You can tell about our journey. Uh, so we started, well, Brother Up Skills started when we were 13 years old. Uh, we started because our friends told us, uh, told us that we were very good at soccer, that we should, like, start with an account and be bloggers and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, but so at the beginning, we were, like, like, we don't want to be bloggers like, hey, brothers, how are you? <laughs> like, that wasn't like uh, like a journey for us, but uh, we yeah. started on December 13th. What are you known for? Okay, for what we're known for is that we do soccer freestyle. That is to do like soccer tricks with the soccer ball. And freestyle, it's like, uh, uh, it's a huge discipline in which like there are huge tournaments. We have national tournaments. We have like the world championships. The world championships. So it's already like a big sport, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's something that we're trying to uh, to improve here in Mexico, like to people get to know more about the freestyle. At the moment, yeah. we are the best duo in Latin America, and um, but we want to, we wish to go to the world championships, go to the world championships, like to prove ourselves that even though we're seventeen, we can accomplish like big things. Amazing, yeah. So that's amazing stuff. So you um you started at thirteen years old in terms of posting your videos, but when where did your journey in football start? Well, in football, we started since we, yeah. were, since we were like three years old. Like, yeah, we were like, like babies. Yeah, we actually, babies. our first, I, I don't know the name, but uh, like our first toy when we were little, it was like uh, a ball. Actually, it was a soccer ball. Yeah. So yeah, since, since that since we were born, we were we just like had this like soccer all all around our lives. And since yeah. we were really good in soccer, and like every time we were like going against people or against defenders, like we destroy them, and all the like, <laughs> all the cowboys like, oh my god! Uh, so yeah, like since then, all of our friends told us that we were really good. So that's like, yeah. why we decided to start with this thing of brother up skills. Gotcha. And so were you or have you played for clubs as well? Do you play in teams or do you now just focus purely on your freestyling? Uh, so at the beginning, we started playing with some clubs and also the Porto uh, invited FC us, Porto. the FC Porto, and also Manchester uh, City invited us to play with them. But it was just like for the uh, Forzas Basicas, how do you say? Uh, like, it was not like the first one, it was... Uh, <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> the, the second team of Manchester. Right. Okay. Uh, so you. So, you, uh, so it was not going to be like for a professional, but they invited us like to get to know Manchester City and FC yeah. Porto. Okay. And is that in, so? You went to England and to Portugal to do that, or? No, since uh, we didn't have like the resources to go to England and go to FC Porto, uh, we decided to stay here and to continue with the with our education. Yeah. And we continue here, so we decided to like. Uh, continue with this of being freestylers but then yeah. we noticed that we love more to be freestylers so that's why we like get 100 yeah, percent to the freestyle because yeah, actually uh, the clubs that invited us to go to england they told us that if you come to england you have to forget about the education so we decided like right. not to go because yeah we love soccer but at the end of the day that's not what we want to do all of our lives yeah so Let's just dive into that for, for a minute then. So you were invited to go over to England to train with Mad City uh, Academy or youth set up there and also to Porto. How did that come about? Where did these teams hear about you, find you? Okay, so first for FC Porto uh, in our school, <clears throat> in our school, they were like, uh, we were really good friends with the coaches because they also wanted to play against us. Like to try to take the ball from us and stuff like that. So we were really good friends with the coaches. And one coach uh, told us that uh, 
uh, Bisor. Uh, oh, sir, uh, there was like a scout. Right. Yeah. Uh, scout. So yeah, yeah. For the FC Porto, a coach was coming and he was gonna uh, like see people playing. So they passed me his contact and like they were coming and I think that it was 2016. But then some certain issue happened, so they needed to wait until the to the next year. And since I was really consistent with the coach, like, when are you coming? When are you coming? When are you coming? He really wanted to, like, to meet me because like, right. we were really consistent in that, that we really yeah. wanted to show him, like, what we got. So sure. uh, we have that opportunity. And then there was, like, a, a, like a train from them. So we go to that training and we, like, did pretty good. Nice. Awesome. So uh, they, they put you an offer on the table for you to go over and... Obviously, you turned that down for financial reasons. Is that when you then were like, "Look, let's not pursue the squad, you know, the team game. Let's. I want to still be involved in football. Let's focus more on the skills." Or is it purely your yeah. friend told you, "Hey, post a video"? No, I think that when we decided to like formally be freestylers, is we like even though uh, we didn't have the opportunity to, to go with them. We decided like to keep on trying, and maybe if we're not going with them, we can stay here in Mexico. And we have here in Monterey, we have Tigres and Rayados that they're like really good, really good teams. So we went to a thing in here in Mexico. Well, we have Tigres and Rayados, which are like the the teams here. The teams mm-hmm. here from Monterey and Tigres, yes, they invited us to go to a a, a vision a scout thing uh, called Fabrica de Garra, and at that it was like. 1,500 kids who went to play and went for the for the scouts of Tigres and I actually was in the top three. Well, no, in the top five. And that's when Tigres invited us to go and play for them in Mexico. And we actually declined it because we our passion was not to become like pro foot, football players because we know that it was like... Well, we, we didn't decline it because it was difficult because we know we can get to a pro, like a pro level. But we always loved more the part of freestyle or street football than the part of football yeah, soccer. And, and we also noticed that what we wanted was to like, motivate. to motivate the kids and to be like really in touch with all of our followers and all of our fans. And we like we thought that just by seeing us play, it was a little bit more difficult than being a freestyler. But since we are a freestyler, we can be like touch in touch with our fans or the people who see us. Right. So, so what what does that look like for you guys now then? So you said that you're the not ranked number one in Mexico. So does that, you know, do you have organized tournaments that you're you're at regularly, or is it like once a year? How does it how does it work? The like, uh, the biggest tournament here in Mexico is called the Panther Bowl. It's a tournament that it's done like once a year. This year it was canceled due to coronavirus or COVID nineteen. Uh, but all years we have been like going. Well, not all years. We started going to. We started going to competitions like two, two years, years ago because we started with Brother of Skills three years ago. And we, the first year, we, I, I got the top two in Latin America and he got the top four, four in Latin America. And we were at that time 15 years old. So we decided to like keep on trying because it was our first year. And for the people that don't know us, uh, the competitions of freestyle don't have categories. We are 2003. And we actually got to play with people who are 1977 or 1980. Right. Or we you were thrown in together. There's no age groups. Yeah, uh-huh, so no... there was like these big guys, like, <laughs> aha, and they, like, we were nothing against them. But at the end of all, we did really good in that tournament. So we decided to keep on training, keep on like, getting better. And yeah. the next year is like when we won. Sure. So, guy, someone who's a bit, I'm a bit naive and all of that. I don't know too much about that world. So, how does the tournament work? Is it, are you freestyling? So you have like a set time yeah, they, against each other. How does it work? Uh it's a, it's like dancing. Like in dancing, you have ballet, you have hip hop, you have like a lot of different options. Like it's the same here. In freestyle, you have different categories that it can be like the category of pana that it's going one one versus one. And you need to like partner your opponent or do like a nutmeg to them. And yeah. we also have uh, the freestyle category that you have uppers that is doing things with the head, doing the lowers that are doing like the around the world. So there's a right. lot of categories. And the yeah. categories that we mainly focus, it's on the categories of Pana. 
and we also got into the category of freestyle, but in duos. Right. We actually suck at duos. <laughs> yeah. We just like go for fun. <laughs> and what's that one? Sorry, that's. Uh, we actually suck at duos, like at freestyle duos, <laughs> but we just go for fun. <laughs> you just need to practice more. Yeah, we need to practice. I thought you'd be more in sync being uh, being brothers, right? Yeah, the, yeah. it's very cool because we're like twin brothers. So people like go crazy when they see like two of us and do the exact same trick. So it's like kind of cool. Yeah, that's do it. That's awesome. So you guys, you, you mainly focus on Pana. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. And then it, how does it match work? If you were going against somebody else, is it the first to one or is it, you know, you've got five minutes and it's who gets the most? How does it work? How it works is that it's five minutes, huh? Yeah, I, I believe it's five minutes. I believe it's five minutes and like the Pana, it's like knockout. Like you're going against someone and it's like if you do a knockout, like that it ends. Like it can be 20 seconds, it can be 15 seconds. Ah, our, our record, our record, I have the record in the Panther Ball that is six seconds. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have the record in the Panther Ball. And like, so it's a, like a one versus one, and whoever scores the most goals wins. It's like, right. it's like a regular game, like yeah. a regular game, but if you okay. get the banner, it's a knockout. It's a knockout. Sure. And then it's like a tournament, so they're, they're out, you move into the next round, all the way yeah. through to the final, yeah? What's your vision now? What's your journey? What does it look like? Is it that you're going to try and enter into these other categories now, or...? I, I believe that our, our goal or our... Yeah, our goals is never to win the tournaments. It's just like to keep on making the freestyle more uh, popular sport and more people to play here in Mexico and all around the world. We want to inspire people to become like the best, uh, the best, uh, like the best they can of themselves. And if it's like into sports, it will be perfect. But also like in their daily life, we want to like focus them for them to be like. Uh, good people and like to be good in whatever they're doing like in their life so it's more like we don't know about in australia but here in mexico people our age like we for example we don't drink we don't smoke we don't like do drugs or kind (laughs) of like that stuff but it's very common for for teens here in mexico to being in that stuff to be smoking to be drinking to be in drugs and we want to like uh, change all that mindset and bring people to sport and not to focus on on that type of stuff. That's very nice. Yeah, it's good. It's a good um, motivation to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, how long do you spend training each week? Oof. Oof. At the beginning, we did seven hours like a day. Seven hours. Like at the really, really beginning, that we didn't have like that much stuff of school. We trained a lot, a lot, a lot. And but nowadays we have like a, a daily routine that like. Uh, so on, let me check if I have the calendar here. Yeah. So you keep. So like in like all Mondays we have like a meeting ourselves. Like what do we need to do like to get better? Like on Tuesdays then we have like a, a like a training session and then in the night we have like a. Uh, it's also like a training session, but it's more like to get fitter and to get better in like in your condition, stuff like that. So we have like all of our week schedule, so it's now like better for us, and we can have like more, a, uh, like, common life. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a coach that you work with for your training, or is it just you two alone? You come up with no, training. Uh, yeah, like it's just ourselves, and we. I don't know if you know Street Pana. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking with Street Pana and this sad bye from Street Pana. So, Street Pana, if you're watching this, this is for you. So, Street Pana <laughs> told us that uh, we should do like create new tricks uh, like between, for, ourselves. between ourselves. Like for 30 minutes, you just think about a new trick. So, we decided to yeah. like to try that. So, everybody like was thinking of a new trick. And then I did one new. So, he did a new. And then we teach it to ourselves. So, like we're kind of like improving with us playing. So, so yeah. like, here in Mexico, we have, like, I don't know, like, well, in Monterey, Mexico, we have zero freestylers. I believe, like, there's one or two. But from street players, like, the thing we do about Panas, we have zero. So, it's kind of difficult to, like, to learn from someone because there's nobody. So, we just, like, do it from ourselves and be creative. What is it you're looking for when you analyze? So on that Monday when you sit down and have that meeting together to go, right, this is what we need to work on this week. 
what is it that you're looking at or thinking about that to analyze okay this is a weakness or this is what we should focus on what is it you're going through okay we actually study a lot our our like let's say enemies our <laughs> opponents yeah uh, like for example street Fighter, for example sofia navinkov so for example people here from mexico Seattle's, we actually study a lot of them uh, and we see like when is the moment we can punish them and for example between me and my brother we study our like each other and tell our uh, weaknesses BS, our weaknesses and that's how we practice our pana and create new moves regarding the opponent right yeah interesting so you do your homework and do your research on who you're yeah. playing yeah very I important see, i believe uh, i work more on my opponents than in myself all right yeah how long would you spend each week doing that then or do you uh, only do yeah. the build up to a competition? when we have like a tournament we actually uh, like maybe dedicate like a whole week to one person, and right. uh, yeah, I believe that that's it. And when you're so when you're doing that, do you does the, you know does the other one of you um, pretend to be that opponent? So it's like sparring. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yes. You would mimic his movements, what he would do, to, so that you can. Yes. So like for example, uh, for a week, a complete week, we studied like one person. It was a lefty, uh, and he was a lefty. So we needed to do a different trick. And something that he will fall for, that like seeing his videos and seeing his movements and seeing past not makes that they have made to them. Like, what is the kind of movement that he normally like gets to? So yeah. we study that a lot, and we try to create a new trick regarding that. So it's like for us, it's easier, and we put like not like names that nobody will know, like Rodinha, Duda Rodinha, and I already know what it is. And my brother, like in the tournament, is trying to get with me. Like, you should do All this right. trick for fun of him. Yeah, so w when you're in a competition, is the other one on the sidelines kind of yes. like a group would be in a fight, like shouting out, I'll oh, try this, try that? Is it like that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. it's like that. And we actually, from the outside, we're always recording from one side and the and like the other one is in the other side to be like watching all the movements and watching it from the back and from the other side to when we watch the replays to yeah. see like if the other opponent is improving, if it's he's making new tricks. And actually, we we see a lot of the tricks they are making because if they did them, it's because they learned them because they think. I don't know if it's this making sense, but yeah. they're learning these tricks because they think they're going to fool you with that trick. So yeah. that's a trick you will feel, fool them with. Right, gotcha. So we use like the tricks they do. We use yeah. them against them. Yeah, interesting. It's very... Uh... A lot of mind games going on, eh? Yeah, it's, so so it, it's, it's like just like a fight, I believe. Yeah. And sometimes it's not what you do with your feet, but then like suddenly you need to start laughing, like like you're playing, and then start like, <laughs> and then he just like wants to go for the ball, so you punish him. So it's like, yeah, it's a lot of like, like I, once I, I did it in a tournament that I we, we have this trick that I close my eyes that I actually like, I just put my hand and close my eyes and I, I go like taunting the enemy. Like, come on, come on. Like I have closed, I have like my eyes closed and you can see like a lot of videos where we're in competitions and stuff. They, I just find another guy when we, when I have the eyes closed and, uh -huh. it, like, <laughs> oh. and we have our code, like for him, like, I'm not going to say it because then they're going to yeah. like know it. But just to say something, like I say like hot and hotter, and you know, where's the position. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, what, what, what do you do? Because it does sound like it's quite a mind game. Do you do any specific training for your mind? Mm, no, I, I believe we already have like strong minds because mm -hmm. it, it's more of uh, consistency and perseverance. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's just like train, 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 and make yourself better not only in the physical way but in the in the brain games. Right. And how many hours a week are you spending training now? Then, so you used to do seven hours a day, and what are you what are you doing? Mm, a lot Not less. that much, a lot less. So yeah. it was like uh, right now we do like at the beginning, like in the morning we do one hour, and then at night we do another hour. So it's like two hours a day, but we also have like we're training like of uh, like condition. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. We have like two hours of freestyle and we have like another hour of just like condition and force gotcha. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, how does it work with um, copying people's skills? Is that frowned upon in the game, or is it your the idea I, is that you should be able to copy people? I think that it's important to be really, really like careful with this because you shouldn't copy the opponent, but because you have like your own style. Like even us, like we're twins, we have everybody like everybody has a different style. So if you see a trick and you want to learn it, okay, learn it, but you need to do it in your own style, in your unique way, in your unique way, and also try to improve it. Like in our way, like he's a lot faster than me. Well. He plays a lot faster than me. He likes to move all around the ball. And I just want to go, like, directly to the opponent. We have, like, uh, different ways of playing. But yeah. since I want to go directly to the opponent, I need to train the tricks to go directly to the opponent. And since he wants to be dancing and uh, flirting, <laughs> yeah. yeah, if he wants to be, like, dancing and flirting with a camera, <laughs> uh, yeah. he makes, like, a lot of dance moves uh, let's say the yeah, yeah and my brother starts like taunting the enemy like oh salsa and start like eh, 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 and i started like just moving so the enemy like really wants to go for the ball so, yeah so we have like our different uh types of playing freestyle but everybody has to make it like their own unique yeah. way yeah yeah so you take on some of the, the skills but you adapt it to your own style and try to improve it and yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting and uh so you guys obviously you're um on social media, you've got quite a big following on social media with uh, with your fans on there. How does, uh, it will definitely check them out. Everyone, go and check them out. What um what's your focus with, I guess, with the content that you're putting out? Do you have a plan for what you do, or do you just film yourself training and you're just posting? We what actually you... like learn about digital marketing, and we have studied a lot of that, and we actually like. Every day we are like making new tests and type of stuff uh, to gain more followers, but that's not the main topic, the main uh, thing about Brother of Skills. We don't, we actually don't care about the followers. Like we obviously love them and stuff, but the number doesn't matter. If we can make just like one kid inspire them to like get into freestyle football, I know this might sound clingy, but. Uh, that's what the main goal is. Mm. Like we can have a thousand followers, we can have ten thousand followers, but even though like if we don't inspire no one to do something good with their life, like it doesn't matter for us. What's the point? Well, like what's the point of that? That's great. Yeah, good, good motivation behind it all. I like it. So you're on Instagram. Are you on YouTube as well? What else do you on? We yes. actually like just started with YouTube. We don't have like that much uh, followers, but our videos are really cool. So you you want to <laughs> watch them? We are right now in YouTube, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. Right, cool. Well, tell everybody where they can find you whilst we're talking about it. What's your handles? What's your usernames? Uh, it's uh, at uh, Brother Up Skills in all of them. In all of them. In all of them, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So make sure we, everyone go and check them out. Make sure you look them up. Um, so let's go back to, I guess, just general kind of football talk for a while. What is what is your most memorable moment in football, would you say? Ooh. Mine, when I broke a bone of a guy, of a defender. Ah, that's very cool. That's yeah. really cool. Like, I feel <laughs> bad for him, but I remember <laughs> that moment that everybody... It, it like, seems like you feel bad. It wasn't a real game. And I remember just, like, the guy, like, ah! And I was just, like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, it was, what, like, what did you I do to him? Was, what? What did you do to him? I do this trick that uh, we call it the Uber. Because, like, I send them, like, to, like, to another planet. <laughs> to another planet. And it's, like, a, like, I go through the to the line, like, going to the corner. And then I do, like, this movement so they keep up running. So I did that movement, and the guy like really wanted to stop like running, and he just like broke his uh, ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, poor guy. <laughs> I, I believe mine was like I I check more of the things of brother of skills like messages, emails, and that stuff. And I was going through the emails, and I there was one that said like, "Hello, my name is, uh, let's say Lupita." <laughs> my name is Lupita from Adidas Mexico, and we want to invite you to uh, form part of our... form part of Adidas. And we already bought you some tickets to come to Mexico City, and you're going to meet Kaka. And oh, wow! Like, Damn! Uh huh. 
Amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So uh, you we broke a lamp. Yeah, I broke a lamp when I did those colors, and my mom came into into our room and said, "Like, why are you fighting? What is happening?" <laughs> and, and we just, like told our parents that like Adidas just called us, and it was like a dream come true because we were at the moment it was our first year with Brother Up Skills. Yeah. So tell us so more then, about that. So, so Adidas called you. What and what was that? Just to bring you down for an event, or no, right it... now it, it's a partnership. Uh, we have been working with the with them like from. The Almost the beginning of Brother Up Skills, and they have always been there for us. Oh, wow, amazing! So, what will that be? So, you'll be when they're launching products, you'll go along and and do your freestyling, and is that what is that what's involved? Is it what? Yes. More? Yeah, that's what we do. And uh, also, they told us they bring us to the Tango League tournaments that we have. Tango League is a tournament that Adidas do once a year, and so the first year we met Kaká. And then we went Fernando to Morientes, uh, Fernando Morientes, that is from Real Madrid. We yeah. also met Fernando Palomo, who is the voice of the Champions League. Like, if you don't know Fernando Palomo, like, yeah. you don't know football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also know, like, a lot of uh, Tigres players that are from here, from Monterrey. And it was one time that we go to this Adidas store, and suddenly they close it. And we see these, like, sorry for the word, like, we love all you guys, but we see this black tool guy, like, this big and he had like big muscles and suddenly like i started like boop, 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 boop. and my mom was like what's happening what's happening and i said mom pogba like <laughs> he was there and like you could see the photo of pogba in the adidas like store like, he was seeing himself in uh -huh. the store <laughs> he was yeah. seeing himself in the store so we and saw it was, pogba. and it was like in the time when he scored his goal like you with, know the goal of paul pogba with juventus that is like yeah, uh -huh. yeah it was that yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's just beautiful. So we saw Pogba in that moment, and he was just like transferring to the Manchester City, no, United. Manchester United, sorry. Yeah. And so we like bought there something of Adidas, and he signed us. And I also like he was walking, and I not meet him, and he and we showed him some skills, and he said like to us like nice, nice skills. skills, and I was like, we can play in peace. Yeah, so yeah. it was also a really good moment for us. Nice. Did you get to play against Kaka? Did you get to uh, show him your skills? To shoot Pana? Yeah. Yeah. Did he yeah. Play? He's huh? really, really good. Like, he's, he's actually one, like, he's the only guy who had Pana one of us. No, oh. not at all. Yeah, was también. Well, one, all. Oh. Well, yeah. there's like two guys in other world. That have actually panels, and one of them is like, and even the panel doesn't matter. Like, you can know when a player is better than you, and Jack, like, he's like a he's, master, he's her, like, he could be a coach. Amazing, yeah. But mm. I, like, in Mexico, when we practice against someone, we do the game like of three minutes because it normally is of three minutes, no, five minutes. So, I say, like, okay, let's play five minutes, but there. They don't play it like that. Like they play it like until you get the pana, you can go. And we actually, right. the game lasted around one hour and a half. One hour and a half. So I was just like really dead, and I was just like, no, like, like I, not I can't make me please, not make me. <laughs> so, no, babe, he's really, really good. Really, yeah. really good. So where do you guys turn to for your inspiration, your motivation? Then I think <laughs> my motivation. It comes from, I, I saw this video of St. Garnier, like I started seeing St. Garnier. Like, Sean Garnier. Sean Garnier, I don't know how to, to say it. Like, here in English. Mexico, we call it like St. Garnier. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like for us, St. Garnier, like a huge inspiration. I saw this video of he like uh, dressing, dressing up as, a, old man. as an old man and yeah. seeing him play was like, oh my God, like I really want to do that. So I started like learning and I also like get to know more about Sofia and Bangkok or Edward Van Hills. So, like, since you start, you start, like, digging, and you can see, like, it's a huge sport, and, like, there's a lot of masters you can see. Yeah. And for me, I believe that it was just, like, think about who you want to be in 10 years. Like, is this motivation that I have uh, about myself, like, every day that I want to do something with my life and maybe make someone's life a better one? By making something to this world and i believe that's the motivation that inspires me to like keep on going every day so what what do you think got you to where you are now then so you're obviously number one in mexico you want to take on 
you know, greater things in the world. How did you get? Yeah, how did you get to where you are? I think that it's persistence. Like, even though you are doing freestyle, you're doing whatever thing you're doing. If you're not persistent, if you're not like, if you don't do it like all days, and you really love your passion, like you're not gonna be good at it. So even though you really love something, you really need to take your time to do so. So I like, think for it's example, just to be consistent. For example, we like from Brother of Skills, we it's already like a job for us. So we're making money, like good money from it. And people come and ask us like old guys and stuff, like how do you make money with stuff you love and how do you dedicate yourself to your passion? And because we, like you can tell that they pay us for Pana people. So like it's a like a dream come true. Like we can only yeah, eight yeah. people and and it's cool. So people we have at the moment we have like uh four businesses. Businesses? Uh-huh. Yeah, four businesses. And at the moment the four of, of them uh are like gaining money. And but at the beginning some of them didn't give us money at all, but it, it just like cost us time so i believe like throughout persistence throughout the years throughout of months and months and months uh, you're going to make all the things you love when you like be persistent yeah because i think like kids or age or young uh, like all the people maybe that are seeing this like nowadays people think that they are just gonna gain money like through the cell phone or just gonna like be sitting down watching tv and they're gonna be like really famous but no, like things are not like that. They're not the way. So you really need to do stuff for stuff to happen. Like, mm. yeah. yeah, that's a great bit of advice. What, 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 if you don't mind, let's touch on that. What what businesses do you run then? Okay, uh, so we have Brother Obscures that we see it, like that way that you can uh, that we go to different parts. Uh, like we have been working with Telcel, Adidas, Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. So with a lot of companies, so that's like number one that it's rather up skills. That's going to freestyling at events. Is that what uh -huh. that is? Yeah. Well, yeah. rather up skills, we actually have like a lot of ways to make money, but like that's the principle. Yeah. Okay. Then we have the brother up skills academy. So if you want to learn freestyle, you can come to brother up skills academy. And we also have the Eminentis, where it's where we. A, we manage influencers and give them to companies like we already work for, for example, Telcel or Coca-Cola, and we go with these influencers to make like huge events or huge promotion to that companies. Okay. Uh, we have uh, uh, Cascariando. Cascariando, our podcast, where we invite uh, a famous guests, for example, well, international, well, Street Panel was one of our, our, of guests. our guests. Pedro Brothers was one of our guests too. Uh, we also had well many players. Yeah, a lot of we players gain money from that. And we have another company called Engine, which is of uh, of making um, digital marketing, making webs, making that stuff. And we have like plenty of people like working with us. What right. you're busy? Yeah, yeah we are. Really so busy. right now we're having this meeting at 10 p.m. Mexico. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes, we're kind well, of busy. Appreciate you doing that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you would have guessed it. Eh? <laughs> what, um, do you guys have a, a regret about anything at all? What's your biggest regret in football? Well, I think the for me, at the beginning, I there were some times that we, well, in my case, I wanted to stop because, like, all of our friends telling us, like, why are you doing this, like, you're trying to be something that you're not going to accomplish nothing. Like, do you really think that you can, like, gain money from playing soccer? So there's a lot of people, like, every time you grow, your uh, haters are still going to grow with you. So I think that uh, one mistake that I made is that at the beginning, I I wasted time because of them. Because I was hearing them and, like, maybe telling myself, like, okay, maybe, yes, I'm wasting time. So I think that's one mistake that I that I made. I believe my biggest mistake is uh, for, like, just for your information. I broke my ligaments and of my knee, and I was out of football for around one year when we started with Brother Up Skills. So it was, like, a huge lot for Brother Up Skills, not gaining money and not going to events, canceling everything. 
And one of my biggest regrets was to, uh, how do I say it? I, I went out of football for that complete year. I just like went to, I, I didn't train. I mm-hmm. didn't, I, I wasn't improving at all. And I was wasting my time in, in, in FIFA. In, in FIFA. <laughs> uh, yeah, in FIFA, let's be honest. I, I wasted my time in video games and stuff like that. And that was like my biggest mistake. Yeah. So, so what would you tell your younger self? If you could go back and say something to your, you know, I don't know, some say 10 years ago or whatever, what would you say to yourself? What advice would you give? Uh, I believe... Like, uh, I don't regret that much things. I, I remember seeing, like, a lot of videos, and you don't regret the things you did in life. You just regret the things you didn't. There was this uh, podcast that I listened to of uh, the guy from... The, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy from, the guy from Apple. What's the name? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. And he gave this... this uh, podcasting he was saying that all the points in your life if you look forwards they connect and that's how you become the the point you are in this moment at life so all the things that happen at the beginning of your life the uh, for example the huge things that happen in our life is that our parents got divorced so it was like a huge thing for us we didn't know if we were gonna have the the uh, yeah, the yeah, backup yeah. of my, our parents uh, in the economic way. So that's why Brother of Skill started making money and that kind of stuff. But at the beginning, you don't know the things that will happen in your life to become the person you are right now. So I believe I wouldn't change anything and I don't regret things. Mm. I Amazing. think in my case, uh, what would I say to me like 10 years ago? Just to... Uh, just like to be como se, like be sure about yourself like don't doubt about the things you want to do and maybe you're going to be wrong maybe you're going to be right but you need to see it yourself so maybe a guy here or a girl here who's watching this like if you really want to do something if you want to start a business if you want to start uh, doing freestyle if you want to start uh, doing new sports do it like don't stay like maybe I'm gonna do it tomorrow because we also have this. Uh, we do conferences, conferences, uh, conferences. We do conferences. Yeah, yeah. Would you say okay, okay. So we do conferences, and in our conference, we say that a uh, like our life is like a soccer game. It can be ninety minutes long, and you can also go to like uh, extra time. But you don't know if the coach will decide to take you out of the game at the minute 35, at the minute 16, at the minute 85. And yeah, maybe you're going to have like this middle time where you can rest or you can have like this like time where you can be chill. okay with yourself that you can chill. But uh, you don't know when this uh, game is going to end. And so you need to like take care of the time you have and... Mm. We did, like we right now we're at the minute seventeen of the game, so we have plenty of much time to play. But you need to take care of that time. Mm, it's a good way of looking at it. I like that now. That's good. What what um, if there's any young kids coming up who want to get into freestyling and Pana? Where do they go? How do you start? How do you get involved? Brother Up Skills Academy, twenty four seven. Sponsor ad. <laughs> so, yeah, that that could be it. But just start practicing. Like, for me, it was, like, at the beginning that I did my first around the world. It was just huge for me. And that's when you, like, just can't stop. You do the first around the world, then you want to do two. Then you want to do, like, the... The Tosani. Yeah, Tosani around the world. And you want to do, like, everything and just want to eat the world. So I think that it's just like to to start to start. I think that that's the biggest uh, what the most people like don't do. Like for example, that you want to turn on the TV, but at the beginning it's just like oh I don't want to stand up. But then you go for the control and you like that you start seeing the TV and it's just like better for you. So it's just that like yeah. the first step. Yeah, just just get outside and start practicing. Yeah. What have you got coming up? Have you guys got any tournaments coming up? When's your next competition? 
we don't know due to the coronavirus it's like pretty awful here in mexico we are right now the third worst uh country so i don't know when it's gonna end this because all of all of our tournaments uh went down or canceled yeah yeah i think that's the world over right now everything's kind of in limbo put on hold like yeah, not sure what's going to happen so just more time for you to practice learn some new skills that's true that's really or true. Create new things. Yeah, yeah this is the time also awesome. you cannot tell yourself that you don't have time because right now what you must have is time so they like, take care of it actually yeah. one of my 100% right one of my teachers uh, right now in the school told us like if you in this quarantine uh, when it finishes You don't get, uh, you don't learn something new. You don't go somewhere new. You don't do something new with your life. What you, uh, your, what you needed was not time. What you needed is to change your mind, your mindset, and become like a better person. Mm. Good advice yeah, from your true. teacher. Uh, one more time, let, let's tell everybody where they can find you. Okay, perfect. You can find us in Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Where you want, just Google Brother of Skills or watch us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Just go and follow us. And, yep, that's it. Awesome. Brilliant. Well, thank you, very much. thank you very much for coming on today. I appreciate that. appreciate your time. I know it's late where you are right now. Yeah. Thank you for that. Hopefully, uh, your tournaments start back up again and you have a successful season and you can take on the world. Thank you. Thank you.